yes, I feel good because I'm going to do a little review of my Fana Peewee base today. Shamai! I know quite a few of you have been looking forward to this review and indeed I've been looking forward to doing it. So this is my Fana small scale base, peewee base. Um, yeah, it is really a base ukulele. It's slightly bigger than my other base ukes. Um, but I'll just run through some of the features today and give you a few little sound demos. So just before we look at the fanner in more detail, just to give an idea of size, here is my uh, Squire bass guitar compared to... Oh, all right, this one, I can't believe how heavy these are now compared to this. But there we go. Just to give a little idea, they're actually almost twins, I suppose. Um, both purple, both got white perloid uh, scratch plates. Um, and both passive. I'll talk about that in a minute, but there we go. Size difference, regular bass guitar and peewee bass. So the Fana peewee bass. This is actually why I ended up getting the electric ukulele as well. It was this that I really fancied to start with. Is it a bass ukulele? Um, well, as you could see, compared to a bass guitar, it is much, much smaller. Um, this is actually more, I suppose, similar to a bass guitar with some of the features on it. It's slightly bigger than a regular bass uke. Um, and I've got to say, I absolutely adore playing it. It takes me a bit of getting used to because, as I said, it's slightly bigger in scale. Okay, so Fana, South African company. Go and check out my Exosphere uh, video because I do talk about the Fana Electric Uke Company a bit more with that. Uh, I ordered it back in June 2021. It arrived in November. So it's a little bit of a wait, but as I explained in the Exosphere review, um, Fana were brilliant. They kept in touch throughout the whole process, sending me pictures as this was being built um, on Trello, which is a sort of means of sharing photos. So I could see the progress um, and then just had to get excited before it arrived. This does match my exosphere. So let's actually have a look at the specifications a little bit. These start from $695, so a little bit more expensive. Worked at just over £500. And like uh, the other one, the actual electric uke, there was a customs import charge on this, um, which took, I think that was about £70. Certainly this was under £600, which I think for a custom built uh, instrument really is fantastic. It's the matching sparkly purple colour um, with white perloid and it's fretless. Okay, so this is actually an ebony fingerboard um, which has been de-fretted and it just makes it so comfortable to play. Uh, it's got, hang on, go like that, a maple neck on it. Um, right, let's go with actual specs a minute. The overall length is 32 inches. Um, I'm having a few problems finding a suitable case. I'll talk about that later on in the video. The actual scale of it is 22, um, 22.8 inches from there to the um, saddle or bridge. Um, it's got a tone control and a volume control on it. The, the um, what are they called? pickups, thank you, the pickups, these are stacked on top of each other, humbuckers. Um, this is what I mean, it is more like a bass guitar to play with the sound of it compared to a bass ukulele. It's got flat wound strings on it. Um, string joy. Okay, that's the make of the strings. They are really, really nice. Um, adjustable saddles, all right. Um, this is a passive instrument. Again, I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more in a moment. It's got a hand-carved 
net. You can just see it under there, under my fret wrap. Um, as I said, totally adjustable. Comes obviously with the two strap buttons. It does come with a gig bag, not the greatest of qualities, not something I would really like to take this out and about with. Um, so, what can I tell you about how it plays? Sorry, I'm just looking at those sparklies at the back there. Because it's slightly bigger than a bass ukulele, um, it's just getting used to the actual scale of it. It's much smaller than a bass guitar. And I'm finding if I'm jumping back and forth between instruments, especially because it's fretless, um, intonation can be a little bit daunting. And you've got to remember as well, because of the much smaller scale, you don't have a lot of room to mess about with the intonation. If you were slightly out, it sounds slightly out as well. I must add as well, nearly everything is built in-house in Fana, okay? Um, they actually hand wind the pickups. Um, judging, I'm just trying to remember what they say on their website, I know the actual electronics, the wiring inside is brought in, as are the tuners, okay? And I do enjoy the fact that you've got your G over there and then the three. It, pretty much matches the precision, the Fender precision shape of basses. It's incredibly light compared to a bass guitar. Um, and it just really is lovely to play with um, the fretless fingerboard on it. Right, just before we hear it again, um, when I first initially plugged it in, I'm not gonna say I was disappointed, um, it was a very different sound to what I've been used to. And then I remember, hang on, this is passive. What does that mean? There is no power in this at all. Um, nearly all my bass ukuleles and most of my bass guitars have a battery compartment that just gives it that little bit of a boost. Um, and this one doesn't. And as soon as I remember that, I thought, yeah, okay, I understand the difference in sound now. And of course, with the magnetic pickups and the stacked humbucker under here as well, it does sound quite different to a bass ukulele, especially with a polyurethane or rubber strings compared to these really nice flat ones. Right, so we'll get it plugged in. Um, I'm going through for today my Warwick CCL, which is the 250 watt 15 inch speaker combo. And I am using the Behringer BD121. It's like a preamp V-tone, I think is part of the series, um, just to give a little bit more depth, but I will play it with and without the pedal as well. And as I said, it, it took a little bit of getting used to with the sound, but of course, with this being passive, um, I've just got to remember that and using the pedal just gives it that little bit more tone control. So like my other solid body bass ukuleles, there's no real sound coming off this. It really does need to be plugged in, whereas the electroacoustic bass ukes do produce a little bit of volume. Here we go. This is the Fana Pee Wee Bass. I do think for the size of the instrument, um, it really is a remarkable sound you can get off them. Um, the strings, as I said, they're flat wound, but they are not very thick, or rather they're not as thick as the rubber strings. They're far, far more like playing um, normal bass guitar. Let's just try that same thing again. And I'll turn off the pedal. Okay, um, volume, but there. Tone control, there isn't a huge difference. Let's just show you. Okay. So that's tone right down. 
mm. tone right up or treble and bass really so i like it and I, with all my instruments i do prefer it at the bass here end so i have actually eq'd the amp today as well i've gone a little bit more with the bass and a little bit less with the treble which is what i tend to use for most of my bass instruments without pedal <laughs> I will leave the pedal on for the rest of it and this pedal costs about 22 pounds it's really not expensive in fact I bought it before I bought this bass but I just feel it gives a bit more of a rounder tone altogether with this certainly it's not really increasing the volume as much it's more just to do with the tone difficult to play fretless and it's all to do with listening with it but I've got to say I absolutely love um, this finger body it is so so smooth to play <laughs> Jacko would be happy with that and in fact I remember one of his quotes saying get rid of the frets and it's like driving along a road without any speed bumps just to give a little bit of an idea of with a intonation wise it really does seem to be pretty good as you go further up the neck Breathless that one is. I'll just turn more trebly now. And I'll actually take the pedal off for a minute. setup or your EQ your tone is always going to be a personal thing see what I mean it does sound more like a bass guitar now whether or not I'd be playing this with say a ukulele group I'm not sure but I would certainly consider taking this and playing it uh, I play with a swing band Jackson Swings where we play a lot of sort of big band swing band Michael Bublé Frank Sinatra kind of stuff and I would certainly consider using that uh, for those kind of gigs. So there we go, there's my Fana oh. Pee Wee bass ukulele. Um, I've got to say, it really is a pleasure to play. Every time I go and pick up a bass guitar now, I just think, oh my goodness me, how heavy is that and how much have I actually got to stretch out and reach. Um, but this really is fantastic. It is taking a little bit of getting used to, um, but I just, I love the fact the fret is just the fingerboard is so so nice the sound of it i'm happy with now um i've got to say 
it is tucked under there. I am enjoying the bed bay ringer behringer all right pedal um and at some point i will put it through some other bass pedals for you to have a little listen of um so under 600 pounds including importation tax um i did mention at the beginning i'm watching the microphone by there um the case it comes with is a bit flimsy I have got a few ideas. This just doesn't fit in my base ukulele cases. It's a little bit too long, that's all. Um, now, my husband collects air rifles, Webley air rifles, name, all right? And I worked out the other day, this actually fits into one of his air rifle cases. It's a little bit long, but me being me had a quick look on the internet and in fact they do a slightly shorter model and because it's just a rectangular size it doesn't look uh, like um, an air rifle case so that's possibly uh, one way of going down it if though you know of a case that this might fit into um, please leave a comment below I am looking at various options I've looked at smaller guitar cases um, but as of yet, I haven't found the perfect fit for this. So I think for a custom made instrument, and remember I got complete choice of color, the hardware. Um, Brian was quite looking forward to doing the fretless one for me. Okay. Um, I really do think these are awesome instruments. Um, maybe one day I'll look at getting a fretted version as well. Um, but I've got to say, I am more than happy with this. And even though it took a little while, um, again, it really is worth the wait. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, though, if you've got a comment or a question, please feel free, leave it below. Give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.